I once refused to use a dressing room because I could sense the aura of Derek Acora. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> um, who's Derek Acora? <laughs> now, there's a, uh, there's a lot riding on this. Well, he is like someone who can get in touch if he's with the a... world that isn't there. The other side. He has a side. The other yeah. side, mm -hmm. yeah. ITV. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, any questions? Yeah. <laughs> Paint a picture. Where were you? I was uh, in a theatre. Where? Stockport. I was working there that day. In what capacity? Uh, well, they thought, they thought they had booked a stand-up comedian. <laughs> I went into, a, went into a dressing room and that room felt ever so cold. <laughs> it was Stockport. So... <laughs> no, but not like temperature-wise, it felt like spooky cold. Oh, yes. Like, yes, but that, that's, like that's what happens if you go into a room where, where there's a ghost, but Derek Acora is alive, is he not? <laughs> He's just somebody who can speak to ghosts. Well... What happened was, I don't know who he speaks to or what, but, uh... Or who he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are... you are almost right, but you're wrong. <laughs> As in, I've, I've never seen him, yeah. but he was working in that place the day before. Ah. <gasps> to describe... The coldness of that room. <laughs> the thermometer won't be any help. It was like all life was sucked out that room. <laughs> <laughs> now you step in there and you think. <laughs> it sounds like you were thinking, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> no, it's like it's you horrible. step in there. I mean, it's like. Are you sure you weren't on stage and that was <laughs> the audience? <laughs> No, it was like I can't really describe it. So you're in that. I know. In that yeah. dressing room. <laughs> I says to one of the people working there, I say, which dressing room was that Derek Akora in yesterday? And she said, I don't know, I died in 1742. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have had five bobbleheads and you would still have gone, oh, poor blimey, it's freezing in here. And, and you. <laughs> And you came to the conclusion that this was the aura of Derek Acora. Without a shadow of a doubt. I'm not, like... Selling the truth? No. <laughs> so I'm not one of them that goes round out there, out there and all that. But <laughs> I've never experienced anything like it. Well, I obviously was instantly out, went to him one of the other dressing rooms, yes. and... It was like as if life had returned oh. to me and Stockport. Wow. Let's go for a decision. What's it going to be? Joe? Completely preposterous. <laughs> really? I think it's true. Do you believe in ghosts? No. But I believe well, how that could he... it be true? I believe that he believes in no, ghosts. No, he's a sort of savage rationalist. <laughs> It's two to one, lie oh, against yeah, I think truth. we're going to go lie. You're going to say... we'll go lie. Lie. Henning. Were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? This was 100% the truth. <laughs> it's true. Henning did change dressing rooms because he sensed the aura of Derek Acora.